Hello awesome people, I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today we're taking a look at the novel The Death Lord of Ixia by Joe Dever. It's the 17th book in the Lone Wolf series. Uh, this series started getting published in the mid 80s uh, when I, and I read my first novel and I was in fourth grade. Uh, and then I picked up the first, I picked start with novel number two and then I picked up novel one, all the other ones that were published. Uh, and, and then I kept up with the series as each new novel was published. Um, uh, and then enjoyed it. It finished it about uh, in the late 90s after the game books craze had died down uh, with its with the last book that was published in the series, is number 29. It was 32 were planned, so a few more have been published since then uh, by Joe Dever and now his son, uh, Ben, who's taken over the publication for Joe Dobb. This is one of the best-selling game book series of all time. In this series, one of the things that it does uh, that's very unique to it is that each story is telling one chapter of an overall book. Uh, for example, in the first game book, your your monastery uh, has just been destroyed. All your people, uh, the Kai Lords, have been destroyed except for you. You're the last one. So now you have to go into the capital, um, and uh, and under when when your country's not under attack uh, and assault uh, by this ambush, and survive and make it to the capital and warn the king of what is happening to your people, the Kai. Um, then in the next book, the king will say, "Okay, well, since, since we have no Kai left, we need to win this uh, siege against the capital. The only way we can do it is with the pump power of the summer sword. So you have to go and get the summer sword, which is this super magical artifact sword." Uh, and bring them back. See how each chapter sort of builds into from the previous one and tells one overarching story. That's what's happening here uh, in this game book series. You also keep your skills. You start out as a psychic ranger uh, with with five of ten skills in the first book, uh, and then each book continues. You get another skill and move forward. And like I said before, you also keep your gold, your items that you found, like the summer suit you'll keep uh, for the series, and you'll, it'll be a key card, a key, key item in this one, book 17. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, so, so I enjoyed that a whole lot. Anyway, like I said, you're a psychic ranger, so you have some psychic abilities, like, like, like the ability to attack people mentally, the ability to shoot yourself from mental attacks, and screenings, uh, the ability to move things with, with power of your mind, and six sense. The ability to detect things, six, and then you have ranger abilities like tracking and hunting and animal kinship and those sorts of things, right? See, and then you have like weapon skill, curing, uh, and so forth that round things and camouflage that round things out. Uh, anyway, in each series, this is the third series of the book. Uh, you have updated versions of skills. For example, your updated version in this series. Grand Pathmanship. Pathmanship was the upgraded version of tracking in the second series. Now Grand Pathmanship, right, uh, and so forth. Um, so anyway, there are two new skills in this series: Kai Alchemy, which I started with, and Magi Magic, which are both pretty. Cool, which is which is the ability to use use magic. That you've been taught by one of your peers, Lord Ramoa. So you have a couple of additional things you can now use at magical spells, and then that's pretty cool. Uh, you're, you're learning and growing and so forth and developing over time. Uh, so anyway, and I try to keep my reviews spoiler free, but this one has one of the more epic feels, which I really enjoy, of this series. But it does something that the previous book does too, uh, The Legacy of Ashna, also a book uh, that is pretty epic feeling in scale, unlike you know the first two books in the in the series, and like the previous one, The Dark Crusade. Uh, but unfortunately, it has an ending sends you to a place I'm not a fan of, uh, as, a, as more than one of, and then it does the exact same thing in this novel. That's, that's not, and it's going to happen again uh, throughout the rest of this series, and I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it doesn't feel that natural to your story to be constantly be sent to various places um, in this genre. So... I'm only going to be giving this a seven plus out of ten, rather than something bigger, because it just a, I don't I don't know the plot and so forth. There is a hardcover collector's edition version of this out there, but it's really expensive on the secondary market. So I'll link you to this in the comments below. Basically, what's happening in the Death Lord of Exia again, spoiler free. Uh, but you're you find out that the that this guy who has control this necromancer in this cold cold uh, uh, out, uh, area. Uh, outpost in the, in the far north called Ixia has um, is, is probably going about to be launching an attack on the nearby uh, free nations of Lencia and others. So you're going to head on over to the west and help them out 
and invade. So you see your plan is to head from the port city uh, to this outpost uh, in the water. And then after running the water, you'll take an ice, an, uh, 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 an ice uh, rigger sort of, sort of ship up uh, to, to, to Ixia. And then, then you'll have seven days uh, and so forth. And that's it. That's basically the story. And again, it doesn't take that long to read. Um, it's also available for free online. As part of a millennial gift, he gave the rights uh, to, whatever, to all of this stuff in the World Wolf. So there's not just this series, uh, but other things as well. Uh, like, 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 uh, the Skull of Agarash, which is a uh, graphic novel, uh, for example, um, and so forth. So that's pretty cool. He also was able to get the other books in the series that were not written by him. Four books uh, in another series that had some place in the world. It was also for free. He also was able to uh, give some things that he wrote uh, that were not in Magnum 1 that are also for free on ProjectAon.com. So I will link you uh, to this book below in ProjectAon.com. And then, that's it. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Right the death Lord of Ixia. So what did you think about it? Let's talk about spoilers in the comments below. Two if you want to talk about the ending or, or the thing in there I didn't like. But no spoilers because it has a spoiler. Because it happens near the end of the novel. So it's a spoiler uh, thing. But I'm happy to talk to you further about it in the comments below. It also happened in the previous novel too. Um, so I'd be happy to talk to you further about the comments below. If you think it's better or worse than a 7 point. A 7 plus. Like a 7.2 or 7.3. I would be happy to, or to talk with you further about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more of these to follow. And finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, right? And we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly helpful. And I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.